Hayward Spycatcher and we're here with Last FM and HP. Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction. Really? My that babysitter when I was 12, 11, she came round was and... She fresh? Well, looking back, she wasn't that fresh, but um, I, I had an 11-year-old crush on her, so I was like, oh, and she's like, oh, do you like music? I was like, I don't know. So she played me that, I was like, this is wicked. And she came back next week, made me a tape, and then she made me another one a week after. She's lovely kid Joe, and it was all downhill from there. <laughs> That's good. Oh, <laughs> on the way down here, we were talking about slogans and stuff, mm. and you could just reel them off. <laughs> you just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into that. Yeah, we did Dyson. Um, tomorrow's yeah. dust clean today. Uh, there was a Suzuki uh, one. <laughs> was it? Cleanliness, aspired to since the dawn of time. <laughs> you name it. Last FM, the sound in your soul. <laughs> <laughs> HP. Um, saucy printing. <laughs> saucy printing. <laughs> um, yeah, we just did Reading and Leeds Festival, which was wicked. It's like a dream, I guess. It's the kind of holy grail of being in a rock band, so that was wicked. Uh, recently, Radio 1's been playing us a bit, and that's been quite nice to hear stuff that we recorded ourselves and wrote ourselves on the airwaves. That's been, yeah, that was, it was quite a highlight. I like the fact that now we're starting to play shows when people like, really know the words. It, if something's meant enough to somebody for them to remember the words to it, it's pretty mental. Yeah, that's always good to hear. That's my level of success. That's, that's how I think when you made it. Yeah. It's all about the music. No money, nothing. It's all about the music. 